Hi guys, Amanda here with another La La Land Crafts release. Um, I am going to be showing you the November kit. It is so adorable, so let's just get right into it. When you get your kit, it's going to come in this really beautiful golden envelope. Uh, we all get excited when we see this. And inside... Are your stamps and your dies. I've already put my dies on my magnetic sheet and I've also trimmed them apart. The club kit for all of it is $39.99. That means you get the stamps and the dies. You also get a PDF of all of the projects uh, that we show you and that comes direct to you. Now, in this kit, you get Marcy. She's so cute. She's reading a book. You get the worm. Super adorable. You get a hippo, a bunny, and an owl. And they have, the owl is so cute. Bunny has glasses, books, they all have books and sayings and then you get a bookmark die you get a shelf with books this little thing I use this as kind of like a, a little banner that goes around this you get a scallop die you get a die that says read one that says I heart books and then this adorable little lamp super cute love these I'm gonna be using these a lot Right. And this is the card that I made. Here's Marcy. She's on a stack of books that I used. I just cut the books out and then I just layered them on top and her little worm. Every page is an adventure. And then I just pull it out like this. I've got to turn it sideways for you. There you go and read um, that is punched out with a metallic paper and so is the lamp um, colored everything up with Copic markers and then um, I used some brads in here on the little lamp that bunny is so cute I did some stitching with my machine my sewing machine all the way around this and then this little die right here I cut it twice and I buttered it up against each other to kind of make it look like a little jean rug. I thought it was really cute. And then, again with the metallic paper, I, love, I heart books, the owl and the hippo. Aren't they cute? Oh, I just love them. And then I did some bookmarks. I'm going to be giving these away to teachers this Christmas in their little Christmas bags. And uh, a book is a dream you can hold in your hands. Super cute. I watercolored these guys up with some Zig Clean Real Brush pens. And again with the metallic paper, um, use a little bit of glitter pen and Nouveau Drops just where the little, I'll show you. Just where the little uh, joints would be. And then added some washi tape. Super easy, super cute, super simple. Um, I do hope you guys try this out for yourself. The kits are $39.99 and that means you get all of this. You get all of this together. You can if you just want to have the stamps, which is just going to be these. They're clean so they stick on a, on a acrylic mount or a misty or a or a platform um, and just the stamps is $19.99 if you want just the dies it's $29.99 but seriously guys you're gonna want all of it because it coordinates perfectly together and I mean who can't use more craft stuff right <laughs> you have to the 20th of this of the month to order and you get this kit and I do hope you guys try it out Following this, I'll be showing you how I made this card.
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi guys so I've just showed you what you get in this November club kit I'm cutting the plastic bag at about one to one and a half inches in width and as long as the bag is and we're gonna set that aside for later I have a card stock that measures five and a half by eleven and with the eleven side at the top I'm going to score it at three and a half seven and one eighths and ten and five eighths and then we're going to fold all of those creases. I'm adding double sided sticky adhesive to the side that had the 10 and 5 eighths measurement and cutting it off at the end. And adding our plastic bag around the other side. You want this cut to be as close to the other end as possible because you don't want it to catch when you're moving your bag up and down with your slider. So as close as possible and then you tape it down. And then I'm going to use the scallop die and I'm going to um, die cut a little scallop on the inside just like that so that I can reach the tag. Now with the two card stocks that we cut at three and a fourth and five and a half we're going to take and we're going to place those over top of the plastic bag because that's what's going to slide up and slide down. I'm using double sided sticky tape for this part also and making sure that I don't go past the plastic bag because then your slider will not go up and down. Taking that off and placing it on my cardstock, and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Making sure that the inside of it, the tape is at the bottom and on the outside the tape is at the top because you want them to go open and shut. And you can't do that if you tape them at the same ends. So, making sure you do it at the opposite. I learned that the hard way but shh, that's our secret. <laughs> Open and shut. Yay, it worked. Just making sure that the top of the tag sticks up just a little bit so that way you can put a ribbon around the very top of where the hole is. Gluing that down and I do the same thing on the inside with the tag and going from there. Taping down the, the smaller little fold, making sure that I don't get it in the sliding part. Look at how fun that is. And there is Marcy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like and subscribe. Bye!